What's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna basically tell you how to improve your FPS in your truck simulator too. So stick to the end guys, I'll tell you step by step how to do that. So basically a step by step guide. Um, before we start right into the video guys, I just want to you guys know, let you guys know that I would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like, a comment or a subscription right into my YouTube channel. It will really mean the world to me. Uh, so subscribing is free for you guys and would be a massive support for me so be sure to hit the subscribe button I'm gonna thank you for that right now and I would just say let's get right started so in order to increase our FPS in Eurotrack Simulator part 2 um, I would personally start with going to your files and going to this PC you're gonna right click it and go to properties once you're at your properties or you click your property, properties, this window will pop up and you're going to go to the right corner where it says change settings. Once you're at the change settings, you're going to go to advanced right here or you're going to go to the settings at performance. Once you're here, you're going to go to adjust for best performance. So basically just going to hit that and go for apply. Once you did that, you can also close this one down again. And the next step is going to be to navigate down to the bottom left corner of your screen, hitting the window symbol and going to your settings. Once you're at your settings, you're going to go to system right here. And your first thing is you're going to stick to display. Now you're going to identify which is your main monitor. This obviously just apply if you have more than one monitor. So just identify which is your monitor. Once you did that, you can basically scroll down to scale and layout right here. Once you're here, you're going to go to change the size of text apps and other items. And here you need to go for your recommended 100%. The next step is going to be to go to your display resolution and check for it to be at the same as your native resolution as in-game. So if you have in-game like 1720 by uh, 1070, you're going to apply this also to your display resolution. Once you did that, the next step is going to be to go to notifications and actions, where you're going to turn this off. Simply uh, for two reasons. The first one, you don't want annoying big ass um, notifications popping up in the right bottom corner of your screen. Uh, you need to tab out of your game and you're going to swipe it away. It's really annoying. And the second thing is your PC needs to render, render it anyways. And this will uh, use performance. So you're going to just turn this off. The next step is going to be to go to power and sleep right here. Right in this window, you can't really do anything. But you need to uh, navigate to the right corner, clicking on the additional power settings. Uh, this window will pop up. And you need to adjust for high performance right here. If you click that and you're going to apply that, this would probably lead or could lead to uh, overheating or getting your PC too noisy. If you can't do really anything about it and your PC gets too hot, you basically need to turn this back to balance. But if you can keep it on high performance, it will, this will improve your FPS heavily. So just try it and give your best to uh, keep it at high performance. Once you did that, you're going to close this one down again. The next step is going to be to go to storage right here. You're going to go to and configure storage sense or run it now. Uh, once you're here, you're gonna go to um, uh, you're gonna go to basically copy my settings. This will help you to blow every single temporary file which is currently on your PC, and this uh, will go in every single 14 or 60 days within this interval. You will uh, get rid of every single temporary file, and this will help you a lot to improve your performance because. If you have too much of these temporary files uh, loading up your storage, this will take a lot of performance off your PC. So you're going to do that basically. Just copy it, trust me guys. And afterwards, you're going to clean now. Uh, once you did that, you're going to come back twice and you're going to go to uh, gaming right here. Once you click gaming, you're going to ensure that you turned off your game bar and uh, this will just use a lot of performance and you don't really want that. So just turn this off. And the next thing is going to go to captures right here. What you want to do at captures, this will take quite a few moments, you want to turn this off. Obviously, because if you, um, it could happen that you don't really notice uh, that Windows is currently recording your gameplay. And this will also, for uh, for example, for low end PCs, will take a lot of performance off it. So just be sure to turn this off. And if we if we want if you uh, we're gonna agree on something, guys. If we want to re record something on our PC, we're probably gonna use a proper program for that, and not Windows. So just turn this off. The next step is gonna be to go to game mode right here. And now I want you to uh, if you have Nvidia graphics card to turn this on, and if you have AMD graphics card to turn this off. Uh, simply because this will increase your FPS, but it's very system specific. So you're gonna check it for your system specifically. The next step is going to be to, turn, uh, to come back and go to update and security right here. You're going to click it and you're going to download the latest version of Windows. So the, the newest one, just to ensure you're providing best possible performance for your PC. Once you did that, you check that, you downloaded it. You're going to 
close this one again and do the same thing for your graphics card. So it doesn't matter if you have AMD or Nvidia, just check for it to have the latest version on your PC or download it just to provide the best possible performance. And the last step is gonna be to open up your task manager by using the shortcut or navigating down to the bottom of your screen and opening up your task manager. Once you did that, um, you're gonna basically uh, end every single task and application which is currently using your CPU, GPU performance just to ensure that every single percentage of your performance goes to your game. Uh, just trust me guys, this will help you a lot. That's it for the video. I hope I could actually help you out of this one. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment or a subscription right into my channel. It would really mean the world to me. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you at the next one and bye.